Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm Bishop Arnold right here at Grace United. As always, excited about the Word of God. Truly, God's Word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Uh, this morning, we're looking at uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse number 4. Uh, one of my favorite passages of Scripture. This is what it says. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Wow, powerful verse of Scripture. It has a powerful message, and it lets us know as believers, as followers of Christ, that we are overcomers. We're living in a day and time that so many in the world in which we live, in the body of Christ, are feeling victimized, feeling like victims, overwhelmed by everything that's going on in the world. Jesus gave the disciples a, a warning. He says, in the world you will have tribulation, but be of good courage and be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And because Jesus has the victory, so do we have the victory. We are overcomers because we are all facing some battles. We're, we're facing some battles each and every every day of our lives. We're struggling uh, with the forces of evil, the forces of darkness, but God lets us know here in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. First of all, the reality of the victory. Yeah, the reality of our victory is it's not so much what we've done, but what Christ has done for us. He has purchased and given us the victory. That's why Paul says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. But then, not only the reality of the, uh, of the, of the victory, but get this right here, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, greater is He that is in us. God has given us the power of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1, verse number 8, and ye shall receive receive what power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Power to be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. God has given us the power of the Holy Spirit, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, know ye not that your body is the temple, the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. He gives us an empowerment, the ability to be more than conquerors. So the reality of the victory, uh, the indwelling of the Spirit, and then the assurance of greater power, the assurance of greater power. He says, because because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Yeah, the forces of darkness, Satan himself, demonic powers, uh, demons. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. How can we walk in that victory? We've already accepted Christ. We have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. We've got to stand on God's Word, bank on His promises. We've got to believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are overcomers. Amen? Let's pray. God, we thank You, Lord, for this day. God, thank You for every opportunity. Thank You, Lord, for the mercy that You provided for us to be more than conquerors and overcomers as we go through this day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God keep you. That's my prayer.